Hi Libra, welcome in and thank you so much for joining. Be sure to only take messages that resonate and how they resonate for your situation. Energies can be reversed. If the messages are not for you, check your other signs or check back next time. Spirit, what is the situation? What is the situation? Virgo energy. We're in Virgo season. You, of course, could be dealing with a Virgo or have a strong Virgo placement. Death in reverse. Scorpio energy. Well, the past is coming back, Libra. Okay. Something being brought back from the dead. So the message I'm getting, Libra, you are going to have a situation come back into your life. It feels intuitively to me, it feels like a test. Okay, you're going to be tempted here to backtrack. The Hermit tells me you've been doing a lot of soul searching. You've been doing a lot of healing, going within, listening to your intuition, following that guide and light. Death in reverse, something's about to come in and try to undo all of your transformation. They're showing me, um, in my head I'm seeing thread being pulled out of like a blanket or some type of crocheted item. It's like something unthreaded here, like someone wants to undo all of the stitching you've done on yourself. Kind of just like taking apart what you've sewed up here. The pieces that you put back together, the pieces that you put together, somebody wants to rip it apart. Nine of Swords, this person or this situation has caused you a lot of anxiety, restless, sleepless nights. Air energy, we have Scorpio, Virgo. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Justice. The Justice card is all about cause and effect. You can talk about consequences. And I feel like you know what the consequences are. Going back to the past, you know what the consequences are. Revisiting a situation that may have been a dead end. Five of Swords, Conflict, Ace of Cups, something's gonna look enticing. Okay, but then we have the Hanged Man. Something's going to look very appealing to you, okay? And the Justice card is all about having a big decision to make. To me, it feels like it could alter your progress. Knight of Pentacles in reverse for how they see you. This is not moving. They don't see you moving. They don't see you doing much, Libra. Okay, this is Earth energy. Their feelings, the magician, the six of wands. Somebody is really into themselves, Libra. First and foremost, they really into themselves. This is a big ass ego. Somebody here thinks that they have the ability to manipulate you because um, they can have you. They think that you haven't gone anywhere, that you're still at the same place that they left you. That's what they think. And they think they can just come right back in with communication with the magician and get you right where they want you. And this person has a lot of pride knowing or feeling like you would take them back in a heartbeat. They think that they have everything. They, they think they're all that in a bag of chips, Libra. They're really into themselves. And I'm taking notice of this infinity symbol, like somebody feels like they can do something until the end of time and you'll take them back or 
feed their ego here. It's a very manipulative energy, so I just want you to watch out for that. More Virgo energy in that magician. He is a reader, can be Gemini, can be uh, Aquarius and Aries. Eight of Cups, the Will of Fortune. I feel like a lot of you guys uh, have already escaped this situation. We have Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio energy. So it's almost like this is talking about a repeated cycle. You've had some sort of like epiphany here, okay? And I feel like you guys, you know, you were disappointed, but you know, you knew it was in your best interest to leave the situation, to walk away from it. It's coming back. It's coming back, okay? Because this is a test. Did you get the lesson? Or do you need to be reminded? Um, feels very karmic to me. Um, but either way, this is somebody wanting to repeat a cycle with you and they're headed in your direction. Knight of Cups in reverse. very confusing energy okay for you and I feel like the best advice when this person returns is to not give to it okay and that could be hard to hear for some um, some of you look four of pentacles Page of Swords. Your curiosity is going to get the best of you or, you know, it's very close to getting the best of you. You are being guided to hold back from this person, but they are coming in to communicate with you. And I feel like your curiosity is going to, you know, really want to um, engage, right? But you got to be careful with that, okay? Because I feel like it could lead to more confusion here. strength card you know everything here is telling me that you should hold back from this communication page of swords is all about that curiosity curiosity killed the cat you know that saying okay um And it's almost like somebody here thinks that, you know, they can just keep doing this. Or this is the, just the beginning of them doing this to you. Depends on, you know, where you're at on your journey. The hanged man for the most likely outcome. Being stuck in a state of limbo. Uh, the hanged man is enlightened, though, okay? The hanged man has that, you know, that's an epiphany. That's restriction, eight of swords, being, you know, putting yourself in a uh, self-imposed cage. We have a tendency to put ourselves in these cages. Through our limiting beliefs, okay? And also through not listening to our intuition. Ten of pentacles. That's long-term energy.
when it's clarifying the the hanged man in the eight of swords to me it's kind of like two of swords i'm sorry two of wands you're gonna have a decision libra okay um there's definitely here i mean there's definitely someone here that wants to reconcile with you or come back into your life but I, I feel like um, there, the consequences to you accepting someone back into your life, there's something here about a repeated cycle, and there's something here about putting you into this limbo energy when the Two of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles, when you could be taking another path towards stability, towards uh, long-term partnership, towards something a little more stable. Okay, and I feel like you're being guided towards the direction that is more stable versus the direction that keeps you stuck, that keeps you in la-la land. Sagittarius energy. This person is definitely returning to your life, Libra. And you will have a decision to make. Look at this. This person is so into themselves, guys. Six of Cups. They are so into themselves. That's how you would know who I'm talking about. Because this person has a huge ego. They're also impulsive, reckless, flirtatious. It could seem exciting to you. I'm not going to lie. Like, I feel like, you know, with the Page of Wands, the Knight of Wands, it could feel very exciting. But it's also very restricting. And I got to say, somebody feels a little selfish to me. Okay? Versus you going towards a new path, a new direction, a whole new world. And the Two of Wands, also the energy, you have foresight. So I feel like I'm not telling you anything you don't already, already know um, about what's to come. Like, I feel like you can already see what the potential outcome of a situation is if you allow them back into your life. Okay, Ten of Pentacles here. I feel like you need to focus on what you're actually wanting out of life, which is stability, long-term partnership. Something solid. And, I mean, this just doesn't feel solid to me. The Seven of Cups. I mean, Seven of Cups, that's also that La La Land energy. Something feels exciting. Something, you know, feels magical. It's almost like being in love with the fantasy of a situation versus, like, reality. Like, I really feel like someone's coming in with some smoke and mirrors. Very confusing energy, very manipulative energy, false hope energy. Ten of Wands. King of Pentacles. I feel like just it's going to add burden to your life, letting this person back in. But we all need to learn our own lessons, okay? And sometimes it takes one or two or three times to learn that lesson. We have the King of Swords. We have the Knight of Wands. Yeah, guys, they're coming in to talk. Very impulsive energy here. And the Seven of Wands. The funny thing is, this person's coming back towards you, but they're defensive. This is a manipulation tactic, King of Swords. This person thinks they're intelligent. They really think they're God's gift to Earth. I have to, I have to tell you, in the Seven of Wands, it's almost like somebody here may have disappeared from your life, but when they come back, they're going to be very defensive about the way you perceive them. And it's very gaslighting energy, almost making you feel like what you see isn't true. Because they want something from you, Libra. Um, 
Alrighty, those are your messages. Until next time, bye!